It is so nice to see you in person again. I, I have to say, it's also nice to be actually here because mm -hmm. it puts a whole different perspective on the show. I mean, it, it, you can see exactly what drives Heartland. It's true. A lot of people say that the scenery is its own character. And I really think that, you know, you look around and it gives a whole new feeling to each and every scene. And, and just moving around this area too and going through the different seasons really gives a different feel to each episode as well. And that's what I love about the seasons, how they are set between summer and fall and everything else. I'm curious for you, you've got the 250th episode this season. Mm -hmm. You know, what does that feel like? Because not just having 17 seasons, but 250 is, is quite an accomplishment in, in Canadian TV, let alone any TV show. When I think back about all the hours that we have spent filming this show, and I think I'm still not, I'm not sick of it. So that's saying something too, you know? And I think the fact that this is our office every day really makes a big difference. A lot of my friends that are on series that are primarily based in a studio, they say, you know, I. I come in, it's dark, I leave, it's dark, I never get to see outside during the nice weather. And I think that's what makes us really lucky. And what stands out about Heartland is that we get to see it all. And we get to be a part of all the seasons and actually be outside enjoying the weather too. Well, you know, the, the fans on the fan day had so much wonderful things to say. I talked to a few of them about the fact of not just how much they love the show, but why they love the show. And I think you know, it comes back to this healthy idea of storytelling that maybe even comes back again to where you're filming too. I mean, how does it feel for you having this reaction from fans that, that kind of, I guess it, it feels like it reinforces itself. It does. And I think that we take this for granted sometimes. You know, a lot of people don't get to experience this and we see it when fans travel from Australia and Germany and all these different places to come and just see it for themselves. And you look around and you say, you know, I do live in a pretty amazing part of the world. And just to be able to, to live it and breathe it every day, those fans get that through the screen and there's something about it that resonates with them. Well, what can you say about uh, you know the new the new season? What what <laughs> <Nothing>. <laughs> what can you say about where Amy is right now? I think that Amy's in a really good place in season seventeen. There's lots of fun stories. Of course, there's lots of different horse stories. Uh, one that we're just filming right now is a story with Blue, and this is Grandpa Jack's horse. And for those who have seen the previous episodes with Blue, he didn't want anyone else to ride him. He was just a one-person horse. And there's something that comes up and Amy needs to take Blue on her own and enter him in a competition. And she's a little bit nervous about it because she knows that this is Grandpa's horse. But they overcome a lot of things together and in the end, they, uh, they make a pretty good team. What 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 is the real blue like to, to work with? <laughs> Sleepy. <laughs> um, this is Tino, and he is tried and true. He's one of the best horses to have on set because nothing really phases him. And uh, I think I think he really stepped up his game in this episode. There was a lot required of him, and we did have some double horses to come in and and take over when they needed to. But I think he did a really good job overall. The, the other side of, you know, coming back for 17, we've talked before, but, you know, how many seasons, hopefully, hopefully you get to 20 at the very least, <laughs> but, and talk to the fans, they were all like, you know, keep going, keep going. Do you, what do you think 17 brings to the series that you haven't had a chance to do yet before? I think that being on a show for this long, you get to travel along a natural journey of someone's life. And that doesn't happen a lot in series. You know, usually we just get a glimpse into a year or two of, of a whole family. But following along Heartland, we started this show when I was just a teenager and we see the progression of what happens in somebody's life. And a few years ago, we see the death of my husband, which causes a whole new line of stories and grief. And I think that 17 really is moving beyond that and allowing Amy to kind of spread her wings a little bit and just start enjoying life again. That's amazing. Is there, is there anything you've got to do in this season that, that is completely different that you haven't had a chance to do before? <laughs> well, actually, some of, the, some of the footage that you've got in the last couple days is of this working cow horse competition. And that's something that we've never really done on the show. So it was a lot of fun to work with the cows and have the crowd brought in. And that was used as a fan day. And I think the fans really enjoyed that experience as well. It was very cool. The whole kind of rodeo feel is certainly different. The, the other thing I'm curious about, I can't even recall if I've asked you this before, what do you listen to 
when you're do you listen to music when you're getting ready to film no not no? usually you know it's there's a lot going on there's always conversations happening there's always little things that need to be rehearsed and prepped and that kind of thing as well so usually right before scenes we're going over lines we're figuring out what we have to do and and that sort of thing the other thing comes back to i guess the canadian landscape of tv and everything else and and I can, kind of what we've said is the fact that so much is indoors and everything else. I'm curious when you, you're even talking to fans now and then and stuff, what are they saying they want to see when they come to Alberta? What, this. It just, you know, all of this, right? I think that, again, I was saying it before, but we're here every day and we kind of take this for granted. But it, to a lot of people, this is heaven on earth. It's a beautiful place. And just seeing the horses as well, they really do play such an important role in the show. And I think seeing it all put together, you know, being in these locations and having the horses and, and watching it all just come into play is, is what they really want to see. Well, it was interesting because some of them were, were staying for like a mm -hmm. week and, and getting a chance to go around. And obviously, you know, Calgary feels like the heart of this. I mean, what do you think of places like BAM for Kananaskis or, you know, like, is all that part of the Heartland feel? Where, where do you think it goes? I think that it's more a foothills feel that Heartland has. Yeah. Um, Banff and getting right into the mountains is, I think, a different show. Yeah. And something that really captures Heartland is just this feel of being kind of nestled in the hills. And uh, it's just, it's really, it's a, it's a warmth. And I think that's the whole idea of Heartland is this nice family contentment. And it's found right here. Well, thank you very much for the time. It's nice to see you again in person. You as well.